So from one section of Evansville history to another, we're here with Matt Rao, who is with the Wrights Home Museum, a beautiful, beautiful home. Tell us about the Wrights family history in town. The Wrights family name is well known to people here in Evansville because of the family's philanthropy through the 1930s. John Augustus and Gertrude Wrights immigrated here from Prussia. They ended up having a lumber business, which at one time produced more feet of lumber than any other lumber mill in the United States. What year was it that they actually purchased this home? This house, they built it uh, in 1870, right at the end of the Civil War. They built this house and they moved here with eight of their 10 children in 1871. Okay. This house is an excellent example of the French Second Empire style here in the United States. Mm -hmm. And that's a style that was very popular at the end of the Civil War, distinguished especially by the mansard roof, which is the steep part of the roof on the exterior of the building that has the slate roofing on it. I am positive that the Riverside Historic District is the finest historic district in the state of Indiana. The Wrights home is perfectly intact. It was never divided up into apartments or something, and that's part of the reason that everything here is uh, in such pristine condition. The last of the Wrights family lived in this home, Christina Wright. She died here in 1931, and at that time the house was inherited by some nieces and nephews, and they gifted the property to the Diocese of Evansville. Bishop Grimmelsman, he moved here until his death in 1974. And at that time, the Catholic Diocese decided to make a gift to the Wrights Home Preservation Society, which was formed to preserve the house and its contents for a museum for history education. It's absolutely gorgeous from, from the get-go. Tell us about some of the highlights in the house. Well, great care has been taken to restore many of these hand-painted ceilings that are here in this house. We have a great collection of furnishings from the Victorian period. Many of the furnishings that we have in here in the house are original pieces that belong to the Wrights family. Collections of paintings and decorative arts from the 19th century, including porcelain and glass. Floors and the paneling contain rare woods from all over the world that the Wrights family had access to because they were in the lumber business. And if people would like to get more information, travel down here for a museum tour, how can they get that information? Please visit our website, it's rightshome.com, and I think you'll find everything that you would need there to plan a visit. Well, Matt, thank you so much for all the information and for the tour. We look forward to checking it out some more throughout the day. And the craftsmanship, as you've shown us, is absolutely beautiful in this house.